Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can insert images into a table perfectly so they look exactly how you want them to. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to insert, table, click on the drop down, and for this demonstration, I'm just going to choose two columns and two rows. So our table's in here, and we need to now decide how big we want our pictures to appear in our table. So for this demonstration, I'm going to select the first row. I'm going to go to Layout, and then I'm going to go to Height here. Now here you have to decide whether your images are portrait or landscape, square or a combination of both. Now any iteration of image, we can make them all look the same. There will be some cropping that's involved, but it is possible. So you can see the width down here is nearly eight centimeters. So if we want this to be a landscape image, which many are, then we need to make it less than 7.95 centimeters. So for this one, I'm just gonna go for 6.5 centimeters and press enter. So now, in order that photos are inserted and this table doesn't move and the lines don't move on the table, we need to just quickly set it. So to select the top row, go to Auto Fit and select Fixed Column Width and click. Then go down and right click into the cells, go down to Table Properties and we're now going to fix the height. So go to Row, go to the height, check it's the dimensions that you wanted Go to this menu here, click on the drop down and select exactly, and then click OK. What this will now mean is when you drag and drop images into Word, these two boxes or table cells will not adjust. Your image will adjust to the size of this box. So let's demonstrate that. So here are some images, and I'm gonna select this image first. I'm just gonna simply drag and drop it into that first box. Then I'm gonna grab this one, drag it and drop it into that second box. So now you can see that we've got some problems. The first thing is they're not the same size, so they don't look the same. Second, they're right up close to the edge of the table cells itself, and they don't look centered. So we can adjust all that, but you do have to make some decisions. Do you want these images to be exactly the same dimensions? Do you want them both to be square, or will you compromise and crop something out? So do you want them to be exactly as they are, or do you want to make some cropping? So let's say you want them exactly as they are, first of all. So select the row again, just click and drag across those two cells go to layout and then click on this center icon here so they're perfectly centered now you may want a little bit of margin above and below this image here so again click on the row or select the row go to cell margins and you can adjust the top and bottom here so let's say we'll put 0.2 in the top margin and 0.2 in the bottom margin. You can also adjust left and right if they're also close up tight to the left and right and it should say zero in both of these. Once again, you can adjust those and just click OK. Now you can see we've got a tiny margin at the top and bottom of this image. This one already has that margin because obviously it's a different dimension. Now, if you're happy with that, that's great. You can go ahead now and you can put some text in here. If you want to adjust this text, select it go to layout, go to center. Now I'll show you how to adjust these border lines in a second, but let's say you wanted your images to look exactly the same. Somehow you've got to compromise, either turn this one square or this one into a portrait. So let's turn this one into a square. So select the image, go to picture format, go along to crop and click on the drop down. So here you have lots of different options. You can choose the aspect ratio, which if you want to crop it to a square, then this is where you'll need to be. So let's say you wanted it to, to copy this one and turn it into a landscape image. You would go to the aspect ratio and go down to landscape and choose one of these options. So let's choose square for now. And as you can see, it's made this crop with these black markers. If you want to adjust this crop, just make sure when you do click hold down your shift key because if you don't it will change the aspect ratio from a square to a rectangle then you can move the picture within your crop to where exactly where you want it to be once you're happy just press enter now you're thinking well it's not the same as this one because it's a lot smaller that's fine all you do is you just click onto this one now i don't think this one is actually square and if you select it you can go up and see it's not actually square so again we can go to crop and then choose square and just press enter. But again, you can see they're not the same size. So select the one that you like the size of, 
go up to the height and width, you can see there's 6.5 and it's checked here, which means that all, both of this, so if you just adjust one, Word will automatically adjust the other dimension. So let's click on this one. Let's adjust this to 6.5, like the other photo. Because this is checked, Word will adjust this one to 6.5 and then just press enter and then deselect. So as you can see now, they're both exactly the same size. They've got the same margins and they line up beautifully. If you wanted to do it the other way and go to the landscape, then you can crop landscape if you want to, or you can crop it portrait. If you want it to fit your square, you can just keep experimenting with each crop. Again, click, hold down the shift key to just expand that out. Press enter when you're happy, perfect. If you want the cells to be the same size, then you'll have to adjust the cell height. If you want the cell to be roughly the same as your image, you're going to have to adjust the cell height. So select the two rows, go to layout, go to the height, and then adjust the height to, let's try eight, that's just probably going to be about nine, press enter. Select this image, go to picture format, go to height, let's try nine, there we go and it becomes a similar shape or dimension to your cell. And again, you can do this to this one as well. It's completely up to you. Perfect. So if you want it to read like this, this is great, but if you don't want there to be a line here above your text, then just select all of the cells here. So you've got this line in the middle of your selection. Go to table design, go over to borders, click on the drop down, and just uncheck inside borders deselect and then you can see that line has disappeared. Now the cell still exists and will still act and behave just like a cell of a table, but we've just taken out that border line just to show you how that can be done. Now, if you want all of this to be lined up, but actually you don't want to see any cell border lines, then you can just select the whole table, go to borders and select no borders. And there you can have everything perfect lined up without having those border lines. Now, if you don't want to have border lines, but actually you need a guide to see where everything is, select the table, go to borders and go down to view grid lines. Now what you'll have are these dotted lines that go around the outside of your table. Now these won't print. And if you say this is a PDF, they also won't be visible. This is just a guideline. So your border lines don't actually exist. So I prefer the previous. And again, you can see the guide here. To switch those guides off, you just simply go to layout, sorry, table design, borders, and go down and click view grid lines and uncheck that. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.